All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no resting your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? Yes, ma'am. Good. All right. Open her up. Now you, get down there. Yes, ma'am. I don't exactly look like the mining type, do I? I might have to work up to it. And here we are. The lair of the king. Now I just have to find him. I wonder... If we'll be able to get out now that I've unintentionally put a bind in the plans, as it were. If the Silverbloods are too busy figuring out why Nepos is dead, maybe we have a chance. Of straw. And not a great lot of else. She's gone. Not a lot I can do there. So this is my life for the next... Until we meet Matt and Ark and get out, I suppose. And by we, I mean... Well, maybe all of us, depending. I should probably grab one of these, just in case. Excuse me. What are you in for, new blood? Well... To put it bluntly, murder. Violent one, huh? Best keep that to yourself, new blood. Others find out, they'll consider that a challenge. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. <laughs> right. That's probably smart. What are you in for? A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. So you're Forsworn? Good. You'll recognize my tattoos then. So, uh, that's why I'm here. I need to see Madanak. Where is he? If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madanak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. I'm going to guess it's that man right over there with the... ...everything. Madanok's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. <laughs> you know, that's grisly and I probably shouldn't laugh, but that sounds... Right. So can I ask what made you join the Forsworn? Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day the Force One will paint the walls of Markarth in their blood. Hopefully only the blood of those who deserve it, eh? Mm-hmm. Well, one can hope, anyway. It's cold down here. I've had worse. Have you ever been to Blind, Blind Cliff Cave? That's where I'm from. So... <laughs> I suppose I should start asking around. Or mining, one of the two. Wait. And I can't check. But I know I need silver ore for something. So... 
This might not be a bad idea. Well, you really are big. The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Well, you know, necessary. I, uh, I didn't feel much of anything, really. It's been a while. I've had to kill a lot. It's just life out in the rage, though, isn't it? A true killer like me. The gods put us here to fill their halls with souls. You'll fit in fine down here. Right. Uh, and what are you in for? Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. I like you. You're... You've got a sense of humor about you, and that's that's good. That's good in a place like this, I think. How long have you been here? Guards brought me in about 12 years ago. Was running a good group of bandits up until then. But these Forsworn, they're nothing like the men I cobbled together. They're real killers. Aye. And that's just life. Uh, I need to see Madanak. Can I get in? You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't have a shiv. Then find one. That dung he Grisvar's been known to make a few. Right, Grisvar. Thank you very much, sir. I like him. You know, for an orc, he isn't that hard to look at, either. Not like I should probably be caught looking at prisoners, but... Right. Let's see if I'm any use with this pickaxe at all. I don't exactly have the strongest swing in the world, but... That's good. I have some silver ore. And not a lot else. Hmm. Well, at least if the guards come and ask around, they won't think I'm just... Sitting here twiddling my thumbs or whatever. Hello? Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. Oh, sorry. What are you in for? I'm a Forsworn. One of our raids went bad and I got captured. Would have been fine dying for the Reach with my kinsmen. But the Silverbloods want their ore mine, so they threw me in here. Right. And how long have you been here? Year seven, I think. Surprised I haven't cut my own throat out by now. But something keeps me going. Hi. That's the spirit of the... Lord of the Arena, I suppose. All right, then. The Great Hunter tests us all. And sometimes... You know... Sometimes he tests our will to keep going. And all we can do is keep going. That's just how we are. Determined sons of witches. And daughters of witches. Hello? I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. And... Are you? Guards say I murdered someone. I was just sleeping off some meat in my aunt's house. That didn't stop them from arresting me. I don't even know who they said I killed. Right. Good to know. They just want any excuse they can get. Mm-hmm. Until next time. Are you Grisbar? Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Forsworn. Right. <laughs> and... 
Why were you causing... What did they think you were causing problems with? The first time, thieving. The second time, thieving. The third time, thieving. It kind of keeps going like that. That's fair. <laughs> uh, I've been told Burkle needs a shiv. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma. Finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. I'm sure you are. Right. Might as well. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. Thank you very much. All right, then. Am I the only woman in here? How deep do these go? I think I'm the only woman in here. <laughs> no wonder Grisvar thinks I need protection. I kind of might. Although... I wonder if my little oak spirit friend is still with me. Might be able to fight people off if I... If I'm pressed. Excuse me. I hear you have some skooma? You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. Uh... Right, but I, I need some so that I could get a shiv so that I could go see Madonna. Skooma addict. Get lost. No, it well. Right. Okay. Uh how else are we going to do this? See you. Uh unless. I'm not going to risk that right at the moment. So, my options. Steal skooma. Punch a man out for skooma. Or skip the middleman entirely, I suppose? I don't know. Excuse me, Barkle. You serve your time by digging, so dig. Right. Uh... Remember I need to go see Madanak? Ready to pay the toll? One shiv. Right, but... What if I don't have the shi the shiv? What if Madanak is expecting me? The only thing Madanak expects is a bottle of skooma in tribute ever so often. You're not getting through. Interesting. Right, that's... Fight well. I did not know that. Why does he need... Maybe he's selling it to pay for... Th things. will do. I'm still not much of a miner, but I do need I still have all my magic. So I suppose if worst comes to worst. Right, I still need some skooma. You give me one more look and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. What if we fight for it? An honorable duel, or something like that. That's it. Come on. What was that? Where are 
are you? Where am I? I'm right here. Right. That's all you. Right. You barely made a dent in. Well, it's good to see you still around with a low spirit. Damn addicts always stealing from me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a good punch, though. You have to admit. Now, about that skooma. Here. I hope you choke on it. It's not going to me, but thanks. I hope I don't. Hopefully those guards don't see me with my magic out. I'm just going to skirt around under here so that they don't see me at all. Right. Actually, before I try to give it to Grisvar, I wonder. Once again, Madonna. Ready to pay the toll? One shiv. How about some skooma instead? Ah, now that's a good idea. Head on in. But don't try anything in there. Madanak is smarter than you think. Thank you very much, Borkle. Fight well. And thanks for the tip about the skooma. Oh, it opens inward. I'm pretty sure I couldn't take him in a fight, so I'm glad I didn't try. He has his own... private... escape? Potentially? And there he is. Madanak. Well, well, look at you. The Nords have turned you into an animal. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? Well, to be fair, I was sort of an animal before I got here. If you're thinking about it that way, I would like... Freedom, and I'd like to take as many of you with me as I can. Your freedom? Yes, but even if you were to escape Sidna Mine, your name would still be stained with all that blood. You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of the Nord stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. Right, I know I might be young, and I wasn't here for the whole uprising and Ulfric and everything like that because I wasn't born yet, but... I'm one of you. How could I possibly not understand? There's a man named Bregg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. Alright. I want to ask you a question before I go talk to Bragg, though. I want to know about Thonar. I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. Or so we thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Thonar Silverblood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. And that was his downfall. Right, I'll go talk to Brig. Our vengeance will come. That's not the right way. I suppose this is his way of telling me do I need 
that I need to respect my elders. Something. Which one is Brig? Must be the sad looking man at the end of this tunnel. Probably. Excuse me. Are you Brig? Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. <laughs> I won't. How long have you been here? Long enough. That's a fair. That's fair. Madanak asked me to hear your story. A story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? Well, honestly, I've mostly stayed out of trouble and managed to not get in the way of most of the civilized folk, if you want to call them that. Anyone who does this, I'd have a hard time calling civilized, but... City folk. I guess the moment I was thrown into this pit. Uh, so you know what it's like to have your life in someone else's hands. Why should they get to decide? Isn't judgment for the gods? Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? I do. Family. Friends. Grandmother. I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modenak once. That was enough. But my little Aethra didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. I am so sorry. That's terrible. That's truly disgusting. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. I'm just a poor forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. Right. I don't... I don't pity you. I'm just angry. Till next time. I'm not sure what Madanak wanted from... I don't know what he wanted me to get out of hearing that, besides just... more angry. I've seen enough of this. Angry enough as it is. Right, Madanak. You're back. Have you done what I asked? I talked to Brig. Yes. Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family, each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. Yes. Yes, we should. Does that mean we're going to escape? Yes, but I need a show of loyalty from you. I don't need a shiv in the back while we break out. Have you met Grisvar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him, and then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. <laughs> well, that could be interesting. Right. So, I actually had more questions about us, Reachmen, Forsworn, whatever you want to call us. I can see how relatively sheltered I've been, actually. This was our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. 
We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are, the Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. Right. Our vengeance will come. What is a bear to a hunter? Grisfire, you've just become a bear. I'm sorry. Now, how am I going to do this without... Hmm. There's not a lot I can actually do. <laughs> Potentially a ship was the best idea. Although I suppose I also have a pickaxe. Right, now is the time to do a bit of mining, I think. Uh, right, this way. I think. Right, there you are. Grisfire. Madanak says hello. What? No. No, don't kill me. Please. Are you going to fight back? Are you? Is someone there? Yes. Good. Well. That's nice to have. Now I have two shifts. Why, hello! <laughs> Sorry. Grizzly bit of work, that. That was unfortunate, but done. Do you remember the sun? Because you'll forget. Soon. Hopefully not. Grisfar is dead. you finally become one of us. Come with me. I think it's time I announced my plans to you and your new brothers. I suppose... different clan, huh? What's going on, Madinok? You wouldn't have old Grisvar killed unless you weren't planning on needing him. My brothers, we have been here long enough. It's time to leave Sidna Mine and continue our fight against the Nords. Through this gate, just beside my quarters, is a tunnel. A tunnel that leads right through the old dwarven ruins of Markarth, into the city. Well, what do you say, my brothers? The Reach belongs to the Force Wars! I say you've earned an early pardon. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Into the tunnel. Let's go. Before anyone notices. Keep up, Burrican. I suppose I probably shouldn't be too loud while we're escaping, huh? Am I going to have to get new armor and everything? That would figure. out for spiders.
Come on. You all right? You're fine. More or less. Come on. Huh? I knew it. Come on, get up. We've still got to get going. Right, take your time. Much you're stronger than I am. I might be able to use that. I'd have to study it first, but this could come in handy. Maybe. Oh, there's a lot in here that could come in handy. Right, let's get out of here before they leave me behind. That would not be good. Madinak, I brought what you asked for. Good work. Get ready while I have a word with our favorite outsider. Who's this? I had Kai recover all the things the Nords stole from you. You better get ready before we break out into the city. Take this. It's blessed with the old magics. Something to remember me by. Remember you, boy. I intend to keep in touch. What happens now? Now? I announce to all of Markarth that I have returned. Don't worry about your name. They'll know who to blame and fear after today. It'll take years, but I'll organize the Forsworn again. We'll reclaim our land, and then when power is ours, we'll have peace. A kingdom. Until then, let me offer you a warning. Beware the Forsworn. No place in the Reach is safe from us now. That is one terrifying man. Oh, good. Everything is still here. There. Now I just need... That or that. I think it might be worthwhile to sneak out of here. Right. Heh. <laughs> Well, it isn't my normal, but it does hide my face, so we're just going to go for it. <laughs> Madanak, think you can escape my prison, do you? You'll pay for what you've done to my family. Your family? You've poisoned the Reach with your tainted silver for long enough, Thonar! Hey! Hey! Oh dear. And you're you gonna pay! You look at the rest of me! You can't be I'll show me. you what a real orc can take the best of you. He is dead. Right. Yeah. Hopefully none of the civilians get in the way. What is this? Uh, I'm 
Really? Is that what you call it? In the Legion, we would call it. Well, it's a good thing he's already dead. Oh dear. Just don't go into the Hag's Cure, if that's all I ask. She's one of us. Whose arrow was that? All of their armor so heavy and why do none of them have any gold? I'll show you a real You're no match for me. Doesn't matter. You should not have gotten in the way. Let's get out of here. Dear. Time to leave. Don't hurt me. Right. It's the part where we just get out. Well, we can. And potentially wear something that's a bit less obvious. I'm not sure where we're all going. But I do know that they can handle themselves. Great, I'm not getting up that way. Just hug the rock. Or not. Probably isn't a good idea to wear this. In which case... So it looks like Melka might have been a bit worried. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm going to be coming home soon. Be home soon. Then I'll be able to figure out where he's gone. Madenach. And everyone else.
Great goods. And he thought we'd never see the sun again. He was wrong. That armour does not fit me very well. The armour of the old gods. Which probably means... That was a lot of running. <laughs> Which probably means I need to do some refitting. I do like them though. I also like that very much. Right. If I were smart, I'd probably not be sprinting through back here. But I'm kind of in a hurry to get home. Oh dear. What are Spriggans doing around here? Generally, the presence of two hag ravens keeps them away. But I suppose... What is up there? I don't know. There's one. There's two. Have they seen me? Potentially. The last thing I want is Spragans on my doorstep. I see you. Oh, there you are. There we are. Don't you dare. Oop. Well, I'm going to have to go down to get everything anyway. Where have you gone? There you are. Pick up the arrows that I just wasted on you. Thank you very much. You can always use taproot. Right. Two taproot. All of my arrows back. I saw you. Thank you. We can always use top root. Oh, gods, it's nice to be. Nice to be home. There's Melka's usual crow. Right, and now I have the journal back. Not that one. This one. Oh, it's ores that I need. Oh, good. I don't have to find a... Th a smelter. Thank the gods for that. 
I could, but I don't want to have to go all the way through everything. Again. Camp, sweet camp. Here we are. Hello. Have you found any shinies for me? I've been sort of away. And everything? Oh, it's good to be home. Let's see. Alright. A bit of fortification on that armor. Didn't add any enchantments. I am a bit discouraged about that, but that's fine. I wonder if indeed there's a way to put the enchantments from this armor onto this armor. That would be quite nice. I have to experiment with that, but... Right. First, I want to pick up a crow. Then I want to figure out... There's a wolf down there. There's two wolves down there. Then I want to figure out where Madanak and everyone else has gone. And then... Right, I probably should check back in with the grannies. <laughs> yes, I should. Alright. One of you, come with me. It'll be nice to have a friend around again. I probably should have taken you with me when I went to Marth- uh, Markarth. Huh. First things first. I think I'll spend a bit of time recovering my supply of poisons and then go check in. <laughs> <laughs>